Hi, welcome to Story Corner. This, this one's about uh, this one's about days of our lives. I hang on the edge of the precipice of my career like a particularly tenacious breed of moss on a cliff overlooking the Arctic Ocean, never being very visible, but never quite dying off either. I have people recognize me, a result of being employed by a soap opera for a few years over a decade ago. The thing is, they recognize me, kind of. Some know the soap and get very excited about it, then realize they can't quite recall who I played. It's fun in a sadistic kind of way to watch them go from giddy to confused to kind of bummed out. I mean, here they have a, a B-rate semi-celebrity in their hands, and, and, and they're blowing it by not knowing who it is. There are those who remember me as playing the character Jack. Understandable, I guess. He is a similarly built and colored fellow who has had a couple of primetime TV series. Uh, no, no, I say, that would have had me banging my sister, and even on a soap. That's a bit risque. Oh, right, they'll stammer. You, 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 were, you were Jen's brother, the doctor. The, the doctor, right? No, I don't blame them for being tentative, for in the world of soap fans, I have already been massively insulted by being incorrectly identified. Yes, I say, that, that's it, Dr. Mike. I knew it! They exclaim proudly, and, and, and I don't bother to remind them that they didn't. Some people think they know me for real, the where have we met? They scour their memories. Uh, was it a job they had years ago? Uh, the husband of someone they met at a party? That bank teller they get sometimes. I let them flounder for a while. Then, if they're nice, I say one word. Days, I say. It's, it's fun to watch their faces light up. And, and if they're female, we might go into the guess the wrong character incest game. If it's a guy, there's often something like... Uh, my sister slash college roommate slash mom slash grandma used to watch it. I nod sympathetically, both of us knowing full well he was and probably still is an addict, and likely with some latent homosexual tendencies to boot. If I am feeling naughty, I might affect a slight lisp for the rest of the conversation and occasionally let my gaze stray to his crotch. I met a girl yesterday, a bartender. I walked in and I, I swear she did the, where do I know him from? Rolodex thing, and decided I was someone she had slept with on a, on a very drunken bender and could only vaguely remember. That those are the circumstances she first came up with says a lot about her liberal lifestyle. She looked a bit embarrassed and served me my drink like I was going to serve her a paternity suit at any moment. Then when she came back with a shy smile and a nervous giggle, I knew that she had placed me. That giggle might have been more one of relief than nerves.